What's going on everyone? Today I'm working on the Bolin's G174, also known as Izeki 1500F. This one's a four-wheel drive. Today I gotta adjust the, uh, or check at least the valve clearance. It should be done every 400 hours, as per the service manual. Uh, where is it here? Valve clearance adjustment. So initially 50 hours and then 450 at the 450 hour mark. So every 400 hours they say, yeah, adjust every 400 hours. So today we're going to open her, open her up and take a look. And uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and pop the hood here. I've already undone these latches here, on both sides. So we're going to need to pull the valve cover off here and PCV hose. Um, so let me go get a, a socket and we'll pull that cover off. All right, so you're going to need a 12 millimeter socket and there's six bolts to remove here. Three on this side, three on that side. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward here. I'm going to remove all the bolts. All right, so once you got all the bolts removed there, Mine had a little bit of RTV on it, so I just had to yank her a little bit, but she'll come free. Careful not to get any junk around inside the motor there. I had a couple leaves and stuff that I took off before pulling the cover. So just make sure you don't get anything in there. We'll set that cover aside here on the bench. And then now, Firstly, I'd like to mention that you should make sure that your throttle is all the way off. These are mechanical diesels, so they don't need a battery to operate or to run or anything. So we're going to be moving the engine and the injection pump and the timing and all that. That's all degreed off the engine crankshaft. So with the right, like if we give it enough force or when you turn, up, turn over the engine, it could very well start. So just be careful. Keep that in mind. Make sure your throttle's off. And um, yeah, so as per the manual, we have to adjust the valve clearance, top dead center compression stroke in each cylinder. So the way I do this is I'm going to be, I got the PTO in first gear and I'm going to be turning the PTO drive shaft there. A 33 mil socket just happens to fit on it perfectly. Um, if I had a helper, I would probably just lock the axles and turn the wheels but my helper's not available today so <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn the PTO and then I'm gonna be watching the valves here turn and I want to see so these two here are your intake valves because if you look they come off the intake and then you'll have an exhaust valve here and an exhaust valve here so I'm gonna focus on say this set for now cylinder number one towards the front of the tractor so once they're on compression stroke, so that means these two valves are up, that's when there'll be no there'll be some free play here and we're gonna measure it and see where it's at. Alright guys, so I found my compression stroke there. And believe me, you'll know when it's on compression. <laughs> it's it's a bugger to turn over and it's a very small motor yet. But anyway, so the intake valve here opened and then it closed, and then I felt a lot of resistance trying to move the motor. So I know that it's on compression now, and if you move them, you can see that there's no tension on them here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a, uh, a, um, a measuring device here, and we're going to see how much clearance we have, because we're supposed to have, as per the manual here, uh, let's see here, I'll take a look. Yeah, so for the valves, they want... 0 0.013 of an inch cold not not after you ran the tractor for three hours do this when it's cold by the way metal expands so it'll expand when it's hot so right now my tractor is cold it's been sitting for two days so i'll go grab a uh, measuring device here and we'll see where i'm at all right guys so i got my 0 0.013 here on the feeler gauge 0 0.013 cylinder number one is on compression stroke so we're just going to see what we got here. So 
exhaust is fine. You want it to go in with minimal drag. So, I like these uh, feeler gauges here. They got like an angle on them. They go in much easier than the straight ones. So, cylinder number one is perfect. Does not need any adjusting. I put on, I would say about 400 hours on the tractor per year. So, I check check the clearances once a year here. And uh, so, if I did have to adjust it, what I would do is I would loosen this set nut here. Number 12. Just loosen it up and then the set screw here, you could screw it in or out depending on if you need more or less play here. So I'm going to go ahead and find compression stroke on number two here and I'm going to adjust it or check it at least and see if it needs adjusting. But the same principle will apply. A um, little tip, make sure your PTO lever is in third gear. That'll give you more mechanical advantage here. It'll make it much easier for you to turn the motor around. So, yeah, that's uh, that's about it here. Um, this tractor runs really well. I don't know how many of them are out there still, but I don't know if any of you have a manual or anything, if you have them uh, still running. But uh, hopefully you could find this video helpful. Thanks for watching.